Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Real Here Show. You got Corey and Nick with you here, as always. And in today's video, we are talking spoilers and reviewing episode seven? Seven? Of season three of yes. Titans, which was entitled 51%. Uh, again, spoilers, you have been warned. If you have not seen it, get the hell out of here. Go watch on HBO Max, then come back and see us. Uh, Nick, how are you, bud? Doing well. Doing well. Just... um you know, waiting to see whatever happens in this season of Titans. <laughs> it's uh, it's getting a little long at the tooth. These uh, yeah. these long seasons, like we're we're seven episodes in. I'm conditioned to Marvel now, where it's like six and we're six. done. So, yeah, and like this one has six to go still. It's like I know. Holy cow, what's the, what is the point of all of this? <laughs> yeah, filler. Um, yeah, I yeah, I, a little bit to an extent. I, I guess yeah. uh, with this one, I I thought that there was some cool stuff in here, but there was also some stuff that had me kind of just like reaching for my phone like what's what's on twitter right now so yeah i i did that a couple times this episode unfortunately you know i mean and i think it's it's really any time we don't see the main plot of the story you know like yes. with the real the real Absolutely. interest at hand and you know I, I, whenever you know we see jason todd jonathan crane mm -hmm. you know barbara or dick on screen i'm like oh oh What's going on here? What's 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 what are they right. saying? Where's this going? Yep. Oh, cut. Okay. Well, well, back right. to Instagram, you know. <laughs> so, and just listening about what's what's going on, and and, and it kind of sucks because I don't want to you know dog on some of the other characters, but it's kind of the same thing where there's not enough involvement sure. um, with, I guess, what they could have to offer, you know. Um, right. Like Gar. You know, what is Gar doing? On this show snooping right around uh, uh uh jason's uh old room apparently yeah like, and i mean i guess maybe at the end of this episode he knocked it uh what is it molly is that her name yeah jason's knocked on her door of interest or whatever uh, maybe something's gonna happen with him but like they just they haven't done much with the beast boy character at all this season he, yeah they he got they, mad once yeah he got mad one time and, and walked away and was was pissy about it and that was yeah. kind of the end of it um they have kind of been treading ground with Starfire and Blackfire. They kind of integrated them a little bit into the main story this week, but uh, a buddy yeah. and I were talking and it was like, oh, cool. So they did this whole thing for this mobster lady and they had to bring her son back and then she kills her son, which was like a cool, like little shocking moment or whatever. Right. But then Starfire kills her before getting the information. They have to torture like a guy that they pulled off the the set of the Sopranos prequel and get yeah. the information out of him. And my buddy was like, yeah, so if they would have just done that from the beginning, they wouldn't have had to strike a deal with the mobster lady and then her son would still be alive. Yep. And I was like, ah, yep. shit. <laughs> so uh, kind of yep. weird character choices. Uh, I, I know the idea is like, they want you to see that Blackfire is in Starfire's head and, you know, she's confusing her and kind of manipulating her or whatever, but. right. To me, it, it fell a little bit flat. And and like you said, I think the interesting stuff is what's happening with the, the main plot. Uh, yeah. when, when Crane shows up to the meeting of the five houses, instantly they're like, oh shit, it's the Scarecrow. Yeah. We're not going to help you. But then by the end of it, they're like, okay, fine. How can we help you? Know, yeah, he, he's yeah. that commanding of a presence. He's very good at manipulating them. Uh, he's giving them what they want, which is all, you know, good stuff. I, I really dug that. Yep. Um, and then the stuff with with Dick and Barbara, um, like we had mentioned before on this show, uh, there's obvious chemistry between the two of them. Yep. And it was cool um, to see some of that uh, get reignited in this episode. And they it was. They are maybe back together, maybe just hooking up. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what the logistics of that are given her her physical situation but maybe right. they just kiss a lot who knows i don't know yeah i mean you know whatever whatever works for them i guess um yeah. I, I yeah and i i think one of the interesting parts um again we <laughs> just see how dumb jason todd is um <laughs> he's not very you know, smart and like he's like don't worry i'll take care of it and i'm like god this, this like macho wannabe macho man stuff yeah. like i'm in charge you know and uh you know scarecrow's like oh i i underestimated you you know i really did you know you proved your worth and and then he takes the takes a hit and just like 
what did you do to me? Yeah. You know, and I'm like, what an idiot. It's like, like when Will Ferrell gets shot with the trank dart in yeah. uh, old school. Know, is that old school, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're crazy, man. <laughs> you're crazy. I like you. I like you, but you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Uh, I'm going to throw it back. <laughs> um, but it, it, yeah, I. But like when Scarecrow shows up to the mob meeting, like that was a that was a, I thought that was a really cool scene. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, I another part I I liked more. Uh, uh, finally, again, using more of of Connor's. Um, he he's been very underused, okay. uh, you know, in this season, and I thought again yeah. it was sort of interesting, where, um, uh, they they use uh, was it Oracle right? Mm-hmm. Um, which, you know, kind of spoke to a, um, you know, Dark Knight, um, a little bit, yeah. you know, sort of, uh, you know, nod to the technology that, uh, you know, they use to lure out and find um, a Joker yep. uh, where, where he's where he is in the, the ending part of that movie. Uh, and, you know, Barbara's very hesitant about it, but Dick's just like, this is what we need to do. It needs to be done. This just is how we, it. yeah. And then she's like, shut it. And she shuts it down. And he's like, what are you doing? We could have used that to our advantage. Right. And that's very much in line of, as of how Batman would think, mm-hmm. you know? And I think about when Bruce says to him in the show, be a better Batman, yep. you know? And I'm like, he, I think he's trying to, but he's also being this, you know, this the same yeah. batman like he's making it, all the same mistakes that right that bruce would make and, and then barbara's like no like we shouldn't do this so it's almost like barbara is being a better batman or bat girl bat girl yeah. um you or know robin and, girl as they wanted her to be <laughs> robin girl that would have been so bad <laughs> um yeah and i uh but that whole scene was 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 really cool but to the point where um you know, Crane sets sets them up uh, with with right. the van. I'm like, oh, this is definitely a trap, you know. And but Connor's there, and it's like, oh, there's a bomb. And he's like looking at it with his eyes, and he's like, it's more advanced. I can't help him. He's dead, and just yeah. stands there as it blows up. And he throws. He threw Dick you know, like twenty feet away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, like that might hurt a little bit too. But um, so that, that's twice now that Connor's had uh, people explode in front of him because of these chest bombs yeah he's you he's know. one for three on <laughs> on chest bombs in this season in this season so you know what Who happened knows? again will he go two for four uh we'll see what is that we'll see what <laughs> hey, his you know what the 500 batting is. average is pretty good in in baseball so yeah I mean, so baseball's not life and death but whatever <laughs> yeah yeah but and in the ending scene where i thought it was kind of um no pun intended but kind of cool uh, where they go <laughs> to the uh, ice cone or yeah. ice cream factory over Mr. Freeze. I'm like, oh, little, shit. Little Mr. Freeze reference. Oh, it's not in the show. Bummer. Um, yeah, he, he might be by the end. I mean, I think that'd be kind of cool if, if maybe they set him up for, I don't know, the f- following season. Yep. I don't know. But um, that's where they're where he's operating out of. And it seems like foolproof. And I don't know about you, but I, I thought like the guards sort of like pacing back and forth was like very comic book cringy. Yeah, I think that little, was like on purpose. Can. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm like, okay, like, whatever. But although I will say it was nice to see the entire team together. Yes, because you immediately got to see how efficient they are, yeah. and they are all working together. Yeah, the show has decided to keep them mostly separate for the entire season, and it's like, yeah, well, maybe if they just stuck to Plan A and they were the Titans, they'd get a lot more done. I don't know, but could have stopped all this and maybe prevented Jason from, you know, turning into, you know, Red Hood. But it's like, no, you go in a lane, you go in a lane, and you go in a lane, and you all just do stupid shit. And, um, you know, but again, the I was cool to see them all work together. Um, you know, again, just the hilarity of uh, Connor, uh, aka uh, Superboy, just be broken, and I'm like no one there can stop him he could just easily mop the entire place up, everybody you know and and like he, you know, he's literally the power of superman and the genius of lex Luthor. yeah like but for some reason they have him like as the dumb stooge who's like fifth in command in the group but uh, i i do like how i think i think it was in the last episode when um uh when blackfire was like 
So what would you do? He's like, well, if I was an evil genius, you know, and he taps into his sort of Lex Luthor, mm -hmm. uh, you know, side and right. says, this is what I would do. So and, and again, I, I think it's cool to utilize both sides of, of, uh, yeah. of his heritage um, because again, it, it adds more to his character. It adds more to the show. It makes up for anything that might be lacking in the show. And, yep. you know, I, that was one thing I said earlier on where I really hope we see more of of him because I know you're trying to juggle a lot of characters and it can be done. It is difficult to do. Yeah. Um, but as long as you have, again, it, it comes down to good writing and um, right. good stories, good plots with character development uh, along the way that can really emphasize on what the sisters are doing. And and in sure, we find out more about. Um, yeah, but do you care? Uh, I, I mean, like, I, I don't. Well, I don't and care I, about that that subject. Well, now now that we know now that we know everything, it's I, I think the 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 question I had was cool. Well, where does it go now? Like, yeah, yeah. where where, where do they go now? You know, because I'm I'm pretty sure in the trailer that Rachel does come back at some point. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. She's one of and the main characters of the show and hasn't been there since what the first episode of the season. She wasn't even in the first episode. Like, oh, you're right. You're right. So it was she was in the, like the recap of season two. That yeah, aired before the first episode. Yeah. So I, I'm like, so I'm like, is she gonna come back at some point? And then like, there's again, that's another character. Like, is um, is Dawn I, gonna come back? I, I don't think Dawn will. No, you um, think she's out? I think she's gone. Gone. Yeah. Okay. Um, which sucks because I think Minka Kelly is great, but at the same time, like. That's another character you got to try and work on. What's her story going to be now? Because, yeah. you know, Hank's gone. That, that right. relationship's done. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see where the characters are going to go. You know, I mean, you got to think at some point, Crane gets stopped. Red Hood either he goes off on his own or, or joins the Titans again. But if he joins the Titans again, um, what about the possibility of Tim Drake being the new Robin? Does that happen this season? Yeah. You know, it's a lot of threads to pull on. There's a lot, and I'm I'm starting to be a little nervous as yeah, to how same. it's all going to get wrapped up because um, I don't know with six episodes left if they can actually make it into a nice little bow. You know, like you're going to we'll tie your out. shoes, you're going to trip over them, right? Like so. Yeah. But I don't know. I, There's a couple things I'd like to see for the rest of the season. I'd like to see Crane get his mask back from the Batman archives oh, yeah. and put the mask on. That'd be dope. Uh, and, you know, use it kind of the way that uh, Killian Murphy's character used it in, in Batman Begins. Uh, I was texting, like I said, my, my one buddy, and he was like, I'd love to see Mr. Freeze. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Like, Mr. Freeze has horrible villain that should never be done again written all over him which means that titans will probably do it yeah <laughs> like, wouldn't so i wouldn't surprised. be surprised if you if you see a glimpse of him or a tease for maybe like season four or something with uh with a, a victor freeze there mm -hmm. um but I, I really i just want to see for these next six episodes more of the main story arc yeah progressing i want to see what that battle is going to be for i guess they're calling it like the soul of gotham or some shit like that yeah i want to know what that's going to be i want to know what the resolution is and i want to know how they're going to tie the whole team together into it and give everybody something like that actually resonates and is emotional for every character right. i'm not 100 percent confident that will happen for all of them i think that for for dick and barbara and jason and crane that will probably happen yeah, uh, for pretty much everyone else on the roster, that's a big question mark for me. So yeah, same. It's kind of where I sit on that. Uh, six out of ten. For yeah, me for this episode. Yeah, I was gonna say about the same. Unfortunately, like, um, yeah. you know, it was definitely better than the last best. week, but uh, it didn't hit the heights that uh, the Lazarus episode did for me, or yeah. or the premiere. So yeah, Lazarus was definitely the best uh, best episode of the season uh so far so that's that's the bar um again the six episodes the, the bah so with six episodes left i mean it, look it's still potential just yeah. you know we'll, we'll see where us. it goes and like <laughs> i've said on this uh on these recaps before this is just like a very pulpy yeah. comic book type show that i, I yeah. don't watch to have it make me cry or you know get it like 
too overly amped about anything. I just watch it for fun. Uh, it's yeah. another quick 45 minutes that I can just, you know, kind of turn my brain off on and enjoy. So uh, on a programming note, uh, moving forward, we're going to cover this show two episodes at a time. Um, just because we've got a whole bunch of other shows that are coming out in the next couple of weeks that we also want to cover. So um, the next Titans video will not be next week, but the week after, and we will cover episodes eight and nine together. Uh, we'll then do 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 uh, as they're coming out, just because there's there's so much stuff between uh, Foundation, the end of Ted Lasso, uh, Star Wars Visions coming out. There's just, there's a whole lot that's coming. Doom so Patrol. Doom, Doom right. Patrol is coming out, uh, which apparently has... A higher approval rating than titans on almost every person's uh ranking <laughs> yeah. so there there's a lot and, and we want to cover all of it and, and to be able to do that we're just going to have to cut back on on some stuff so uh that's going to do it for this video i'd uh, love to hear from you guys drop us a comment below let us know what you think of this episode uh what do you think of the the path and the trajectory that the show is taking now that we're over the halfway point in season three. Uh, and what would you like to see in these final six episodes? I will respond to every comment that you drop. So make sure yes. you do that. Uh, if you want to support us, you can do so for free. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and share with your friends. One thing we don't ever talk about, uh, we're on social media. Uh, we yeah. have a Twitter account and we have an Instagram account. So mm -hmm. uh, if you want to follow us there, I tweet about a lot of dumb shit and uh, Nick posts all of our thumbnails <laughs> for all of our new videos. So uh, always, I will respond to DMs, just DM yeah, us. Slide into Nick's DMs. I mean, slide look at the guy. Right Come on. He's obviously the attractive one on the show. Let's go. Um, so uh, definitely give us a follow on both of those platforms. Uh, Stay tuned for all of our future videos. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.